for some reason I can't find my tripod so I'm just like holding you up real quick. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Today's Monday. But I took two days off of work because I was so exhausted. I think because I didn't rest enough after Sunday's shoot, I was literally dragging myself to work for five days. So on Friday, I asked my boss for two days off because I was like, Charlie, I, I can't. I cannot, I can't. <laughs> so today and tomorrow, I'm not going to work. And I'm using this opportunity to catch up on my sewing. I always try to spend about two hours after work just sewing the things I know I have to sew. But Charlie, let's be honest, nine to five, no back now you want to sleep. You just want to sleep. So the first thing is that I have a client coming over around 5.30, 5, 5.30 thereabouts to fit her sample dress. I don't know if I've gone over this, but a sample dress is basically when you use grey bafts or really cheap fabric to make the design that their client wants. So then they get to wear it see if they really do want everything about that design or if they want to change something about that design so yeah she's coming over after work to come and try it on and then my sister also wants me to make something for her so the good thing about hairs is that i already have the pattern for that so i don't have to spend so much time drafting and everything so i think i'll just start cutting I don't know if I'll show the cutting, in fact, I won't show the cutting process because I really want to be fast with hairs because it's really simple and easy. I really want to be fast with hairs and then I'll do something else. I will definitely show you all the pieces when I'm done cutting though, so yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so I was in the middle of cutting the thing and I realized that I may not have enough fabric to do everything. It's two yards and it's like a gutted dress, kind of. So I was like, oh my god, I may not have enough fabric for it, but yo, I did. I just had to show it, because what? I managed to have enough fabric for it. I don't know how I did it, but... You know, I will not even take the praise. I'll give the glory to God, because this one day was all God. It wasn't me at all. Oh, uh, I'm stuck. So, the fabric we bought was two yards, and I figured it would be okay, but... I was wrong. Here's my dilemma. With this fabric, I didn't buy lining, so I decided to just use the rest of it because I figured oh, there'll be enough left over. And as I was cutting, you know, there was enough left over. So then I have the two front pieces. One of the back, and now I, this one doesn't have a lining. And literally the fabric is finished. Like, let me show you, the fabric is done. <laughs> this is all that is left of the fabric literally this is this is it there is none left I just have like larger pieces and right now with the way things are looking I might have to join the larger pieces and cut the thing because it's just one it's just this one that doesn't have a line it's just this one it's just this it's just the facing how oh, I see this it's just the front side that I have I don't have the lining for it so I'm coming to do cut and join just so I can get the back piece because it's going to be on the inside and it's for my sister I'm like okay that's fine I can do that if we're a client I don't think I'll be able to do that um, so yeah we're just going to cut and join it was already cut so we're just going to stitch <laughs> we're just going to stitch it and then we'll press and cut it and just hope for the best stitch them together I pressed it down and then I cut it so now I have the lining we thank God um, first of all I want to try and do um, a little test run on the adjustable straps I've never used them before I bought them about I bought them about two months ago and I've never used them before so before I do the straps I want to just test a few measurements to see if it will be okay this part is more like the bra hook part where you can just like hook it inside. But I don't think I'll use this one, I'll just use these two. So let me do a little test run to see if the sizing will be okay.
this strap was one inch three fourth but the one i cut these ones the straps i cut these are two inches sorry these are two inches so but yeah i like how this looks it looks so good it looks so so good i'm going to do the straps off camera and then i'll come back i'm trying to be very fast with everything yeah so i'll be back I'm not exactly a Christmas cracker I'm more of a seasonal slacker I come off like a less green Grinch So I'm done with the top and it looks so good uh, On the camera the blue looks so like blue but in real life it's more like a baby blue it's a very subtle blue but yeah i'm done i'm done with the top <coughs> <laughs> this is what the back looks like this dummy is not hair size so it makes sense that this doesn't close properly i'm so happy with it it looks so lush Ugh. i wish you could actually see the fabric in real life because it looks so lush it looks so expensive well it was expensive it was expensive but it was worth it definitely worth it i'm going to stop here i'm going to do something maybe i'll continue tomorrow maybe i'll continue later in the evening i don't know right now i'm tired i am tired i'll continue later on maybe i'll continue tomorrow i have a little migraine so maybe i'll continue tomorrow We'll see how I feel after I eat it. Yeah, I'm so happy about the straps. Like this is the first time I'm making adjustable straps and it looks so good. I'm so happy about it. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm back. I went to eat and I took Tylenol and I walked around a little bit. So yeah, I feel a little refreshed. And I just finished stitching the front part of it. And I want to show you because it looks so nice. I have to iron this though, but let me show you. Look! It's draping so beautifully. This is so cool. Like, I have to press so that the seams lie down flat than this, but... <laughs> I'm so excited! Ten thirty, and I'm I'm done. I'm literally done with the outfit. I just need to add a zipper to it, but I made her wear it to see if it fits or if it looked close to what you know the design that we picked was. So let me show you the things that we're going to fix about it tomorrow. So the parts that I've pinned tomorrow, I have to take in all those sides, um, and I'll have to reduce the bodies about an inch and half ish maybe an inch and a quarter but yeah that's mostly it oh and yeah i have to reduce the hem by three inches yeah so that's mainly it so this is what it looks like it looks so beautiful bonjour actually it's not even in the morning it's 3 p.m <laughs> i've been up for a while I woke up this morning and I realized that tomorrow I'm going back to work. My two free days are over. <laughs> but um, I'll have to go and get my hair done. I have to get my hair unbraided and then relaxed. So I'll do that in a few minutes. But I wanted to try to fix a few things about the dresses before I go. So when I come back, you know, the process will be a little bit easier for me. The first thing is I need to detach the skirts from the top and then reduce it by, I think, an inch or so. Yeah, and reduce it by an inch. When I detach the top from the skirt, I'll have to reduce the hem as well. I think I spoke about everything yesterday, so everything I said I was going to do yesterday, I'm trying to do it today. But if, because I'm going to leave to the salon in a few minutes, I think I'll just detach the top from the bottom and just trim it. Just trim one inch off of it, then we go.
Sing it for your whole life. So let me be your family this Christmas. And let this be the season. Since I filmed, I've been a little busy and now I can get back to this dress. On Saturday, I went out to buy a few supplies. So I was able to get a zip and bias binding because it's a Sunday and right now it's like 10, almost 11 p.m. Nobody is going to be open on Christmas Day. I got the bias branding so I could just finish off the edge of the fabric. I've already done everything that needs to be done to the top and now I'm going to attack the bottom part. The part I'm dreading is putting the bias binding on the edge of the fabric because there are so many panels. Today is the last day I want to work on this dress. I had her wear the dress yesterday to see if there's anything else we need to fix about it. And everything is fine except the hem. If we are comparing the original picture to what we have here, I would have to reduce the hem by 3 inches. Which breaks my heart because I already placed the bias binding on the end of it. If I'm cutting about 3 inches off of it, all my work is just gone to waste. <laughs> There's one more thing I need to get done before I hem it, and that is this is the inside of the dress, and this is the lining. You see just how much the fabric frays, it's insane. Usually, how I close off something like this is to fold it a little bit. There's already an allowance for that, so you just fold it and then I stitch in the ditch. This basically means I'm going to stitch right here so it's done in a way that no one sees that there's a stitch there and this part is closed off as well i'm done doing that and now i'm going to attach the hook and eye to this part of the zipper the very top part of the zipper set up the background for the shoots and i think i'll end this video here thank you so much for watching this far <laughs> this is my last video for 2022 thank you for supporting i'll see you guys in the new year <laughs>